In this video, I'm going to show you how I double check my measurements for the bottom of a stair stringer before I even think about making my first cut. Um, this might not be the most exciting video, but it should give you a better idea of just another step that I do before I actually start cutting the stair stringer. Um, I will actually take the tape measure and use the riser measurement. This would be the overall riser measurement. And in this case, it's about seven and three eighths of an inch. And again, I'm just guessing that's where it looks like the bottom of the tape measure is located. Um, I place it at the bottom of the stringer. This would be the very bottom of the stairway. I line up the riser measurement just as you're as you see in the picture here. And then I look at the top measurement and that should give me a the amount that I actually deducted from the bottom of the stringer. And in this case it looks like it's about two and five eighths of an inch. Now where did we get this two and five eighths of an inch measurement from in order to deduct it from the bottom of the stringer? Well first off we need to subtract the thickness of the stair tread. In this case it's an inch and an eighth. Uh, then we need to subtract the two by fours that the stair stringers are sitting on top of. So that leaves us with an inch and a half and an inch and an eighth. And if we add those two numbers together, we will get two and five eighths uh, inches or two and two and five eighths of an inch. Now you're probably wondering why go through this um, extra step or even do this when you can just double check the measurements, add the numbers up and uh, you're done. And hey, that's fine if that works for you. I'm just throwing this out there. This, this works for me and uh, rarely do I make a lot of mistakes. I mean, when I did a lot of building, when I built a lot of stairs, I didn't really make a lot of mistakes because I double checked everything. And that's kind of what I'm trying to uh, drive home here in these videos that I'm making on double checking these measurements and even trying to give you a better idea of why you're subtracting the tread um, thickness and anything that's going to go underneath the bottom of the stringer and so on. Um, this particular tip right here, um, the way that I use my tape measure, uh, you can apply this to other things also. I use this when I'm laying out windows, doors, um, complicated uh, framing, uh, you know, parts of the house that I'm, that I'm working on. And of course, like I said, it just gives you another way. If you're pretty good with numbers, you and you do something like this and you know that it's an inch and an eighth and an inch and a half you can do this in your head you got an inch and five eighths you put the tape measure like this you line it up you see your two and five eighths and you're done you've double checked it and you um, can feel a little more secure um, when you cut your stair stringer and install it and again don't forget to check it after it's been installed either